What up y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Dunk City Dynasty on your Apple Silicon Mac, meaning any Mac with the M series chip in it. You can play this game with mouse and keyboard or controller. Make sure you watch to the end, especially if you want to use controller, because it might be a little confusing if you're not familiar with Bluestacks. Also, if you're looking for a controller, I'll leave a link to some Mac compatible controllers on Amazon in the description. And with that being said, let's get into it. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the description, click that link. It's going to bring you to this page. Also, if you do click that link, it does support me and the channel. So thank you in advance if you do. So on the left hand side, click play Dunk Dynasty on Mac. It's going to download the Bluestacks PKG. Hit allow. Then we're going to go to our downloads folder and double click the PKG. It'll run you through the Bluestacks installer. Hit continue, install, type in the password to your computer. That'll install and then hit close. It's going to ask you if you want to move the installer to the trash. And then we want to go to our applications and look for Bluestacks and then double click going to run you through a short little video showing you what Bluestacks can do. And once that's done, it's going to bring you here in the upper right hand corner under the search bar, type in the game, click the game, click install from Google Play. It's going to ask you to sign into your account. Once that's finished, we can click the home button and you will have the game right here. However, before we click it and play, you're going to want to go on the right hand side and right under the discord icon, click the settings wheel and then under performance, change all of these to the highest it will go and hit save changes. It's going to ask you to restart. Click restart now. While it's restarting, it's going to run you through the video again. However, we want to change one more thing under settings, and that's under display. We want to change it from usually on default, it's 1440. We want to change that to 1080, as you can see, recommended resolution, and click save changes. This is just going to help performance. It's going to restart again, run you through the video, and once it's done, we can now actually play the game. So click the game. You can play in full screen by clicking this or the green button in the upper left hand corner. Once you get in, it's going to ask you to link your account, hit the X, can hit start. It's going to ask you to pick a name and click that's it when you're done. It's going to put you in the tutorial and here's where I will tell you how to play with mouse and keyboard and controller. So if you click this keyboard looking icon and tap on screen controls, it will show WASD and the pre-configured keybinds the game has for you. If you want to change anything, go to controls editor. If we want to change any of the binds, if you hover over it on the bottom left, you should see a settings wheel. If you click that, you can go to the key bind and click it. And then you can press any key on your keyboard and that will change it to whatever you want. Then you can exit out and hit save and that will save the change and if you've made a bunch of changes and you want to restart fresh you can hit reset and it will start from default now if you want to play with controller you actually have to make sure your controller is paired to your computer before you start bluestacks so I need to restart Bluestacks and it will say gamepad detected. Hit OK. Now we can hit the home button and load back into the game. Now we're going to go back into that controls editor. So hit the keyboard on the bottom, hit controls editor. Now when you click the settings wheel on the D-pad, you will be able to change it to left stick. Now when you want to change the other binds, go to the circle that's already here, hit the settings wheel, make sure it's on gamepad, and then tap key, click it, click the button on your controller that you want it to be, exit out, next. And once you're done, then you can hit save, and on the top right, you can exit out of the control editor. Now you'll be able to play, and after that, you're pretty much good to go. It's gonna run you through the tutorial, and after that, you'll be off playing. Subscribe for more Mac Gaming news and tutorials, and that's about it. See ya.